Alrighty, hello everyone, it's Silver Kyle here, and today I'm going to be continuing my X-Men Marathon with X2, which is apparently called X-Men United. I thought it was just X2, but it's apparently X-Men United, or X2 X-Men United. You learn something new every day. Uh, so this movie is arguably the best X-Men movie of the franchise, until Days of Future Past. It's always between this one and X-Men First Class. I personally prefer First Class, uh, but this one I will say is the best of the original trilogy. And the reason for that, I think, is because Wolverine really takes the focal point of this movie. Uh, it's really about his past. He goes back to his past. He meets William Stryker, uh, who is the guy that was in charge of the Wolverine program and turned Wolverine into the beast that he is, kind of. Like, he's the one that's put adamantium in him. Um, and he's really against mutants. And because of this, uh, we also have Magneto and Mystique joining up with the X-Men to, to, you know, face a greater threat, uh, face a, a common enemy. And I love it when that happens. It's, it's always nice to see the enemies join your forces because they get to work together and it's like, oh, this is awesome. They were enemies before. Now they're working together. But you can't really, you can never really trust them because that they were enemies and they were trying to kill you last time around. Um, and, and Magneto's always kind of on that line. He's kind of like, I'm with you guys, but I'm also against what you stand for because you want to go the peaceful route. I, I like that. That there's that that's an awesome character. Uh, one character that's missing uh, from this movie, unfortunately, or not in it. Like he's 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 diminished to like half a role. He's for half the movie he's just not in it. And that's Cyclops. I'm like, why? There's just so much potential that you can have with Cyclops. You know, show that he's the leader. He has a hard time with being the leader sometimes, especially if you know um, Xavier is not around and he has to take take charge and he has to have some hard decisions to make. Uh, you also have the point that, you know, he, he's in love with Jean Grey. He's going out with Jean Grey, but Wolverine wants him and so he has to compete with him. Um, he also has to compete with like a renegade that is Wolverine that just never uh, pays attention uh, to any rules or regulations and just goes his own way. He's a lone wolf and he has to kind of maintain him along with the other X-Men. Um, just a, a lot of potential there uh, and they just never went with it. So that, I, I'm kind of sad by that. But uh, they did introduce a lot uh, of other characters, Nightcrawler for one. Uh, this is the only movie with Nightcrawler. Uh, he just never came back. The actor, it was just too much to put on all that makeup on, uh, so he didn't return for any of the other, other movies. Uh, but Iceman has a bigger role, Rogue has a bigger role, we see Colossus for the first time. One of my favorite scenes of this entire, no, my favorite scene uh, for this entire movie is uh, when uh, some of the a lot of the X-Men uh, go their own ways on separate missions and they leave Wolverine behind to babysit like the mansion and all the teenagers there and uh, the military shows up and they start like attacking and Wolverine just destroys all of them and you actually see him like kill people like he puts his claws into their chest you don't see any blood but that's, that, oh, that's awesome I don't know how they got away with that for a PG-13 movie it's not super graphic but I'm actually happy that they showed him like throwing it into the chest um, and um, because that um, the teenagers have, they're mutants, so they have powers, they're actually able to stay and fight uh, against some of the military. Like Iceman uh, uses some of his powers. Colossus can just like basically just walk up and destroy them because he can turn into steel. I wish Colossus had a little bit of a bigger role in this entire series. He only has a few lines, which is unfortunate. But there's just so many characters, I guess. But like really, if they would have followed a little bit more of the X-Men animated uh, cartoon series, I think, and just taking a few episodes from, like, those, I mean, like, they would resolve something in 22 minutes because it's a TV show. They would have an entire, like, problem arise, there'd be a lot of dialogue, there'd be action, and they would resolve it usually within 20 min 22 minutes. How can you just multiply that by, like, you know, five episodes and boom, you've got your X-Men movie. I I've always wanted them to do that. Uh, anyway, uh, so I will give this um, a 7 out of 10. Uh, I really enjoyed that, you know, we learned a little bit more about Wolverine's past. Well, but Wolverine, there's more to his character. I like it. I like the reason. I, I like seeing how Wolverine is damaged, and it's, it's really a big thing for him to accept somebody into his circle, uh, like he accepted Rogue in the first movie, and uh, to an extent Jean Grey. Uh, I did like, uh, at one point at the end of this movie, uh, the, the uh, scene with Wolverine and Cyclops regarding Jean Grey. It was well done, and I was, I was like, yeah, that's what I like to see uh, between those two because they they both like Jean Grey. And something happens. Also, Jean Grey. Uh, there's a lot more with Jean Grey in this movie leading up to the next one, and uh, that that's that's always interesting. And just the battle scenes uh, for this movie, they're they're just freaking awesome. So seven out of ten. Uh, let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. This is my favorite from the trilogy, but I do like First Class more. Uh, let me know which one you prefer. So far, Days of Future Past. 
notwithstanding because it's not out until this weekend. I know some people have seen it already because it's out in different areas and uh, whatever, but just out of the four main ones before Days of Future Past. So thank you all for watching. You've been bearded in. Beardage.